Hi there, it's Jen Britton, author of Effective Group Coaching and the host of the Group Coaching Ins and Outs blog. Happy Valentine's Day! Today's spirit is all about relationships. Probably several of you are coaches that are looking at developing powerful co-facilitation experiences. Team coaching or co-coaching with another coach can be a great opportunity and sometimes it falls off the rails. My past experience has been both good and not so good. So here are 10 questions to consider next time you sit down with a co-facilitator. In fact, I blogged on this earlier today. Number one, what are the unique strengths we both bring? How do these overlap and intersect? Question number two, how do our skill sets and strengths complement each other? Question number three, how do they create a blind spot? Note that a blind spot is an area that you might not be aware of uh, and certainly creates an absence. Question number four, how do we individually and collectively define success for ourselves? One person's success may not be another's. How do you each define success and how does this overlap with the client that you're working with? Number five, what does quality and excess success really look like for each one of you? Number six, what is our priorities or what are our priorities individually and collectively? Number seven, what will you be counted on for? What can you be counted on for no matter what? Question eight, if things go off the rails, as they sometimes do, what are you going to commit to doing? Number nine, what support and feedback do you require? What support and feedback does your partner require? And finally, what will you do to celebrate your successes along the way? From experience, I found that few minutes taken at the start and along the way to check in with your co-facilitator is really invaluable. So I hope that this has been useful. For many more tips, tools, and ideas, I hope you'll check us out on YouTube, our Effective Group Coach, as well as the Group Coaching Ins and Outs blog. Thanks for joining me today. Happy Valentine's Day. Have great relationships. Take care.